No script, no fans, no chance. That's Disney Star Wars indeed. And when lines like this are fed to an interviewer, you know the incompetence is real. Don't believe me? Try this quote on for size. Yes, that was actually quite last minute. I was actually making my own film last year and Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy said she wanted to have breakfast and I thought we were just having breakfast. And so I was literally eating my breakfast and she said, oh, we might do another one. I was like, okay. So it was like quite lovely to come out and give people a nice surprise. Well, not so fast. Here we go. So my friends over at That Park Place have been a bit busy lately, and I can tell you there is a story that they're working on right now over there that's going to blow your socks off. Be that as it may, the story I have to tell you today is no less alarming and also sourced from That Park Place. Well, several of their stories. You see, anytime my friends and I have reported or cited reporting about how poorly run Lucasfilm is, we've been met with toxic skepticism. Yes, toxic skepticism. I mean, isn't everybody supposed to believe all reporters, right? Well, something like that anyway. Well, it turns out that the coup de grace when it comes to that, the unassailable argument has just come out. They have no plan. They have no script and they have no understanding of Star Wars. Of course, all of us knew that. Uh, everything that you see from Disney Star Wars was a by the seat of their pants effort. Every terrible idea was entertained, perhaps even shot. I mean, you have, have you seen what the actual budgets end up being on anything Disney makes these days? Take the actual budget and half it, and then add that to the budget, or sometimes even as much as two thirds. And I mean, nowadays you certainly can't take Disney for their word on anything because it's a constant stream of lies. But when it comes to their theatrical and streaming projects, just take what they say and assume the opposite and then you won't be disappointed. Anyway, back to my point. When Daisy Ridley walked on stage at one of the weakest Star Wars celebrations ever, she really didn't know what she was promoting. She had a rough idea of a bad story and a promise of being a working actor, and that was all. She certainly couldn't have known much more than that, let alone that the director of the project she was about to promote never worked on a Hollywood picture, let, al let alone much of anything else outside of some documentaries that were made to make men uncomfortable and a few Miss Marvel episodes that had to be reshot by a slightly more qualified director. Daisy must also be making a concerted effort to avoid reality when it comes to Disney Star Wars. She must have been shielded from the negative coverage around Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy, especially after South Park, and I bet she's pretty well aware of that now, stating that she is Unaware of the discourse around the lore destroying Disney Star Wars is quite laughable. I mean, she had to know about that. Yet, truly, Daisy is the least of the problem when it comes to Disney Star Wars. And I'm saying it that way very specifically, Disney Star Wars. There's a reason. It lacks leadership. For example, once again, as I mentioned, there's no script. None. Steven Knight has turned in nothing. That's right. It may not even be his movie to write now. He just happened to be announced because he was available to announce. Jason Ward actually revealed this on his Making Star Wars channel. He even attempted to clarify, uh, as he pointed out in another Park Place article, he'd said, and I quote, not saying he's off it, not saying he's going to write it or not going to write it. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Maybe even Stephen Knight. So is anybody writing this film? Either way, it's nowhere close to being shot. Hence the Star Wars Mando Grogu spectacular that we're going to get. The culmination of a season of writing that really should have been a film from the very beginning, as should have all the Mando projects actually have been. This is a weird kind of a Disney recycling effort when it comes to Star Wars. So it's gonna feel that way. Whether you want it or not, it's coming. And kind of like the girl power films of the MCU, Disney, Star Wars, television, and all their animation brands, which are a disaster. I mean, look at the performance of all these properties. Disney is in the red to the tune of about $1.6 billion plus, And that was just in 2023 alone with theatrical releases. Yikes. Of course, the recent, or most recent example of Misandrous mediocrity is The Marvels, which is a pure exercise in costing more and delivering far less. Uh, with a budget north of 300 million, this film is to date below uh, 
well, 200 million global. It couldn't even crack a hundred million dollars here in the States, which means the pursuit of pure folly has netted Disney a negative 200 million dollars in the red. Minimum, could be much more that they've lost on the Misandrous Marvels. I don't know, I guess we'll find out sometime in April or May. Of course, all these stellar efforts uh, leave one to wonder. How planned out has any of the recent Marvel films been? If you use one of the disgusting recent deleted scenes out there from the film The Marvels, I'd arrive at not very planned out. That thing obviously made it through several cuts and effects and sound before somebody, you know, woke up and thought, hey, that's pretty creepy. Should we really let normal people know just how icky we are? But really, it's all icky. Everything that they do. Look at Wish. Girl power with some creepy. The live action Little Mermaid. Girl power with the message. Yeah, a little creepy. And it goes on and on. But of course, I digress because we need to return once more to Jedi Order. Despite obviously trying to rewrite Disney lore and history, or Star Wars lore and history for that matter, well, like all the neo-Marxists are trying to do with everything else these days, rewrite history and replace it with your version, which is, well, <laughs> not true. Well, the audience just wants Disney, Star Wars, Marvel, pretty much everything else, to return to something good. Uh, the problem is nobody wants or believes what they're peddling and they just want a good story from good-hearted, truthful people. Come to think of it, that's what they want in the way of news and leaders in the same way, but that's for somebody else to cover. I don't do that on my channel. Regardless, this Ray Star Wars movie is farther off than anyone was led to believe. I mean, way, way, way in the distant future. And that actually includes the star herself, Daisy Ridley. I mean, there's even a chance that this won't be made. Oh, that would be glorious. I mean, don't believe me? Look at the possibilities. I recently did a video where I named off about 17 people in multiple projects that are never going to be made. I mean, how's that Ryan Johnson trilogy coming, huh? I wonder. Well, that kind of actually wraps everything up quite nicely. I mean, there was no plan uh, when they announced this thing at Star Wars Celebration last April. There wasn't a script, and there certainly aren't a huge group of fans standing outside waiting to see this. Nobody's going to line up outside the theaters. Not that they need to anyway, because you can reserve advanced tickets in most cases, but uh, I'm not sure those advanced ticket sales are going to be very high either. We don't really know who the writer is officially of this film. We know that it had to be replaced in a rush, so you got to advance Grogu and Mando thing for some unknown reason. I'm not sure that that's actually going to help things with Disney Star Wars since the Mando, I mean, the viewership there fell off quite a bit between season one and the end of season three. I'm not sure that you can finish on a lower note. They're about to drop a tremendous flop in the form of the Acolyte, which isn't going to help. And uh, it seems like uh, girl power films are just not selling to the typical Star Wars, Marvel, or any other kind of fan. Unless they're actually written for ladies like, I don't know, Mean Girls or Barbie. And uh, well, there, then you're gonna have a winner. Not gonna have one with Star Wars or Marvel anymore. Of course, now we're at your part of the video. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya!